Aloha, we're in Bellevue, Washington today, and we're in a home that we purchased just before COVID-19. It's a 10 bedroom, 10 bath home. Yep, you heard that correctly. 10 bedroom, 10 bath home that we purchased off market from a family that was living here. Uh, but there's an opportunity here in the United States to create something called residential assisted living facilities. I'm not sure if you've heard, but 10,000 Americans turned 65 years old per day in this country. And in fact, by the year 2050, 20% of the American population is going to be over the age of 65. And so as these Americans start to age into this age bracket of over 65 years old, they're looking for wonderful places to live. Now there's large scale residential facilities, but a lot of seniors want a little bit more intimate environment in which to feel like family. Hence, residential assisted living facilities. We're naming this facility Ohana Hale Senior Care. So it means family home in Hawaiian. And because there was palm trees on the property when we purchased it, it was kind of like, yes, this is definitely the home we want to get started on. So in this home, we are going to be able to home house about uh, 68 residents, and they're going to have a skilled nursing staff in a very loving environment uh, that really is going to feel much like family. Uh, construction has been going on here for the last several months, and we're kind of finalizing now our application with the state as well as some of the city uh, regulations in order for us to take our first resident in here probably in the next two to three months and so we've got a lot of work to be done in terms of hiring our staff developing our website creating the marketing and then really interviewing the residents that we feel would be a really good fit in our ohana it's going to be a pretty exciting adventure and for real estate investors a great opportunity as well because residential assisted living facilities can be located in any residential neighborhood and really any residential home without a, a whole lot of additional uh, zoning requirements certainly there are some uh, applications and some permits that need to be done and we're in the process of doing that now and so we've got a lot of work ahead of us here in the next three to four months as we get ready to open our doors and really welcome in some residents who will call this their family home and we're excited about that and we'll just tell you our journey along the way because it's really a great opportunity and an awesome missional way to take care of some of the seniors in our country so stay tuned and we'll tell you more about what we're learning along the way as we get ready to open ohana Hale senior care